The Lions Club International is celebrating their 100-year anniversary, and the Maryville Pride Lions have found a special way to celebrate by putting a unique staple on Nottoway County's past. I've always dreamed of getting a Freedom Rock here, so I just mentioned it to the club, and it was full blowing from there and I mean everyone in, um, was very positive about it and then we in, invited some other clubs to join us. The Freedom Rock project began when mural artist Ray Sorensen saw a movie that inspired him to paint a simple thank you on a boulder in his hometown of Greenfield, Iowa. In 1999 I, I'd seen the movie Saving Private Ryan and I just sitting in the theater I thought you know I was lucky that that was all the closer I'd been to war and so I wanted to say thank you to our veterans and I went out and painted thank you veterans for our freedom flag raising at Iwo Jima. In Maryville, the five Nottoway County Lion Clubs, along with Sorensen, have chosen to paint the story of Sheriff Earl Anderson, along with a few others that hold special meaning to the community. We had one of the members research uh, different historical facts of Maryville and Nottoway County, and we sent a list of that to Bubba, and that's where they came up with Earl Anderson, the sheriff that got killed, as one of the things. Um, he had several different ideas. Maryville is the second stop on Sorensen's Freedom Rock tour where he plans on leaving behind a painting in all 50 states. He says people who come to see his work should feel proud of where they come from. Feel pride in our, in our, our history and our country and, and uh, thankful for all our veterans in the service and, and just proud of our community. Brooke Anderson, KQ2, your local news leader.